I remembered it. Yeah, I told you. Um, Final Fantasy Void Omnia. Uh, last we left off, the gang had, uh, the gang had explored, explored the, uh, second temple of Karn and had arrived into the main little corridor. Um, and when they arrived in the main corridor, they discovered that it was them, selves, but darker. Not darker in tone, but darker in light but um they reveal to themselves they reveal to everybody that they were the warriors of darkness come here from another world to save their world and also trying to help this world uh but our gang had refused their offer to their aid and they initiated combat with them and after a, a brutal battle between themselves they, the Warriors of the Darkness, had proven themselves victorious. Uh, and mostly, uh, you know, due to uh, Evangeline kind of <laughs> for being forced to surrender due to everyone else being left, you know, unconscious. But they had told the Warriors of Dark, uh, the Warriors of Light, that they would see them again soon. And after disappearing, uh, Evangeline had uh, risen everybody else back to one HP. And after looking around the room for the fire crystal, as you know, they were told that where it would be, it would possibly be, it was nowhere to be seen. But Ruvik, uh, our fire guy. He had got a reaction from the crystal, and a voice had whispered to him where it actually is. And after they've gotten out of the sunken temple of Karn to go see where it is, they saw smoke and flames in the distance. And that is where we are now. Uh, the party had come out of the Sunken Temple of Karn, and the City of Dune is on fire. At least that's what you guys see in the distance. Um, and you all are you all are at one HP. So, people, uh, what will you guys do to uh, kind of stop the fire, or to a or do whatever? Nyx is probably just going to look out battered, pissed, and a couple of bullet holes in <laughs> in them. Uh, just kind of look out, uh, see the fire, and just go. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Um, and Evangeline kind of comes up uh, from behind you all, and she says, that looks like the city. Quick, we gotta make it back there fast. Yeah. yeah. To the airship. Um, yeah. And she kind of right behind. Oh, uh, she kind of just runs after saying that, uh, hoping you all will follow. And she rolls up to the airship that's parked a few, like about. 30, 40 feet outside of the actual entrance, and she says, Figs, Wedge, is the thing, uh, is the, um, are, are we ready to take off? I'm sure you see that in the distance. Uh, yeah, we can kind of see it. Uh, and everything is prepared and ready to go. Come, hurry. Alright, and she steps into the airship. Nyx also makes their way over to the airship. Looks over to Biggs and Wedge and goes, How much water do we got on this thing right now? Uh, well, the ship doesn't exactly have water, but I mean, uh, it, we do have a, a cannon, and if you have a water supply, we can, you know, use it to put out the flames, but that'll take some time. And we gotta worry about focusing. We gotta focus on actually evacuating the citizens. Biggs says. 
Right. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's just get going. Nyx just kind of stumbles. Sorry. Uh, kind just kind of stumbles around. Uh, looking. Uh, stumbles around, heading to their cabin. Uh. It's kind of using Bright Eye as a, uh, Shit, as sorry. kind of like a crutch. Sorry. <laughs> this is not a victory. Yeah. This is not a victory. But, yeah, no. Nyx is just going to make their way to their cabin. Uh, Bright Eye, using Bright Eye as a bit of a crutch. And just kind of walks off deck. Alright. Uh, Vesta? Vesta is gonna do the same. You're gonna be uh, crutching Bright Eye? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll go off to her cabin. Alright. Uh, and the rest of the party follows in as well. Um, and the thing. Well, I say the thing. Uh, the airship lifts off immediately. Uh, you kind of see uh, the gears are turning, uh, things are spinning, things are starting to pick up. You see the propeller start to turn on, and the wings flap out like the sound effect, and then the uh, they start. You start to lift off, and uh, it'll take you guys about uh, forty or so minutes to get back. But we'll say that here you guys can make a short rest if you wish. Oh and hell yes! I think there is actually oh, a there is a short rest option on the character sheets. So have fun with new mechanic. Uh, well, I am not on my sheet right now. <coughs> I'm not on my digi sheet. I'm on my hard sheet. Right. But yeah, no, I'm definitely going to use a couple of hit dice. Alright. <coughs> Fuck. Well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set you back down the one. No shit. No, not not net initiative. Uh. Crap. Either way. Um. Okay. First oh, roll. It, yeah. I, well, I'm manually. I'm manually rolling my hit die anyway. Um. First roll is gonna be eight health. Back and then I'm gonna just do one more. How many hit die in total? Uh, I'm just using two. All right. One. But, okay. Uh, yeah. And then second one is be nine back. So I get a total of 17 hit points back. Alright, so I'll go ahead and add that. Plus 17. I add my constitution to hit dice rolls, right? Yep. Uh, okay, just making sure because it didn't have the sheet for some reason. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, so you're back at 18 HP, uh, Nyx. Nice. Mm, excuse me. But, I mean, heck, uh, it's a lot easier if you, I mean, uh, if you, whenever we do do a long, <laughs> if you ever do do a long rest, uh, there is a long rest option, which will heal everything uh, for you without having to let you yeah. do it yourself. But, yeah. But, I mean, they can't do it automatically for oh. this, because, you know, then. But, yeah. Um, what do you want? Well, yeah, basically for the entire trip to Dune, Nyx is just kind of uh, bandaging up the kind of bullet holes and whatnot, uh, just kind of wrap, wrapping themselves up. Uh, sorry. Yeah, just kind of slightly groaning and just kind of like slightly wincing, groaning uh, as they're kind of going along and you can hear like a bit of swearing from Nix's cabin while this is happening. All right. Um, go ahead and actually roll Miss Survival. Oh shit! No problem. At actually, that. Oh, at advantage. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that uh, you, um, with with you and your exploration before the campaign started, you would know about bandages and things like that. So. All right, that's going to be an 18. All right, so you gain two extra points of HP. Well, temporary HP. Oh, fuck. 
temp HP. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Um, best though, would you like to try to make an attempt at rolling up your sleeves and patching up yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Survival rate? At disadvantage. I'm just kidding. No. Um, uh, roll it at just Did? regular. Oh, just regular? Okay, so that would have been a 9. So that would have been a 10 uh, altogether. Yep. So, yeah, go ahead and add 2 to your temp hitch. To your temp hitch? What oh. the fuck did I just say? Temp hit points. Or as I say, health points, because that makes more sense. I mean, we can just call it a temp hitch. <laughs> temp hitch, yeah. No, oh, God, it reminds me of uh, temperature and locust. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, after Nyx is done, uh, it's probably going to take 25 to a half hour for Nyx. Um, uh, they kind of eventually kind of walk out. Um, they're in their, sh uh, they're just kind of in their uh, usual burgundy button up, but you can see that there are um, bandages kind of wrapped around Nyx's arm uh, and whatnot, and. The shirt's looking a little torn, but at least they're not kind of staggering on Kaidai anymore. And they just kind of slowly make their way back uh, to the deck. Alright. So, uh, is everybody in their ca uh, Well, I mean, the airship doesn't really have cabins. They do have small rooms, but I mean, it's not really personalized cabins. But, um, yeah, is I'm everybody else just up? calling it cabin. Hmm? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said I'm calling it cabin for lack of better terms. Okay, cool. Um, and is uh, what about everybody else? Is everybody else up? Well, well I'm mostly asking. I keep thinking that everybody else is here. Uh, are you um, <laughs> up on deck, or are you still in your cabin? Um, Vesta's gonna take some time to decompress after, you know, bandaging herself up, and then she'll probably go on the cabin as well. I'm sorry, the deck as well. All right. So, judging by that, uh, I would say that Nyx gets to the top first before you, uh, because, I mean, he just bandaged himself mm -hmm. and then light swearing. Uh, not light, <laughs> probably heavy swearing, I don't know. Um, oh, definitely heavy swearing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you make it to the top, Nyx. Uh, you see, uh, at, outside, the, you see the, the, the glowing city that is currently engulfed in flames uh slowly coming towards you um and yeah you pretty much just see the city burning and you just are you feel i, I wouldn't i'm not gonna say what you i'm not gonna describe how you feel but like you i guess there's a sense of helplessness that's rolling over the entire atmosphere of the of the ship like everybody's feeling like they didn't they didn't do either enough or they weren't there for the right reason and a lot of people are dying. So there's just this, you can just, I guess, sense a sort of negativity uh, weep across the entire deck of the ship after, because like everybody's looking at it in horror. Um, and Vesta, yeah. I guess you arrive up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when you arrive, okay. Vesta will kind of look over and probably just sit in silence and kind of think about, well, holy shit, this is actually happening. Yeah. Yeah. Nix is also kind of kind of look at this in uh, definitely a bit of a horrific shock, but it's probably going to be a little more diluted than mostly everyone else. Uh, Mainly because right now, all that they kind of are thinking about is the Grenadier and what they said uh, before the fight started to break out. And you can see that uh, as Nyx is kind of thinking about this, they're definitely getting a little more angrier about everything. And just kind of gripping uh, Rebellion at its holster probably a little more tightly than normal, and it's just kind of looking a little pissed right now. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, use uh as uh Vesta. Uh, you you walk up on the deck and uh you see that Nyx is looking more angry than usual. Cause I mean, he's always angry. I guess I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no. You just see him uh, vi uh gripping Rebellion tightly, and you see everybody else looking on in horror as the city burns. But you guys are slowly coming up. Uh, to it. I'd say if you know if this, oh, hang on, if this is where the temple is, and this is the city, you guys are about like slowly starting to arrive around there. Um, yeah. is there anything else anybody wanted to say before we head to the city? Uh, no, that's it for me. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright. Um, yeah. So, you all will, uh, uh, wedge kind of looks o uh, out over the port, or like the area where the airship usually is docked. And he, you can see he points out and he shouts out to Biggs in a different language than you guys are used to. Uh, it's not common. Um, um, what languages do you all speak? For me, it's Dwarvish, Elvish, and Common. Alright, and Vesta? Um, Vesta is Common, Elvish, and Halfling. Damn, okay, never mind. I guess you do know the language. So he just, uh, just shouts out, over there, <laughs> in Elvish. So yeah. Um, but yeah. Gotta love them elves. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not. He himself is not an elf. He just knows Elvish because that's what their master speaks. Um, yeah. But they, they, um, you point. He points out, and Biggs kind of starts to go out past the city, kind of making this little detour around, and then they go kind of go into the dock to the left side of the city. And we have returned to the city of Dune. Not the city of Redwall. This is not the city of Redwall. That doesn't exist here. This is the town of Dune. The city of Dune, who is now on fire. Um, now I need music. I need some ambiance. Mm -hmm. uh, once we actually start dock, and we're kind of like all the way docked, Nyx is going to immediately jump off deck onto the loading ramp and just start running uh, heading towards the lower districts first as quick as they can okay uh, so yeah this okay so when y'all land uh, immediately as you got as uh, you land you uh, everybody on the ship kind of looks on as Nick's kind of like as Nick gets off and tries to head and just like, bolts, just like bolts over the railing onto the loading dock and just starts running yeah and you all <laughs> see that uh uh evangeline kind of shouts out what nick wait and then you're like already far gone yeah this is not paying attention um and yeah uh biggs and wedge try to uh, biggs well mostly uh wedge tries to call it to you wait it's not it's not safe yet uh, and he realizes that it's it's futile. And uh, Biggs tries to land the plane, uh, land the airship down, and uh, he in the the dock door, kind of like the bottom half of the ship. You know, the the door opens basically, uh, so you guys can get off the airship. But Nix has already taken off. Unless Vesta, did you want to take off at the same time, or did you want to wait until the airship landed? Probably a couple seconds after Nyx runs off, she's going to shout after them, like, hold on, and, and run after him, yeah. Alright. Actually, alright, so you said, okay, Nyx, so you said you jumped off uh, at around the time before it started to dog, right? Okay. Uh, like, a, a little bit before it, like, settled into docking, yeah. Uh, they're not going to, like, jump as it's, like, descending. It's, they're not suicidal. No. Just like once they're close to docking, but not like a full, uh, completely latched in, you know? Yeah. 
Okay, good. Okay, I was about to say you you might have had to roll the uh, next, step. but no. Uh, you guys are good. You guys land because it's more it, like when when this ship docks, it's more of a like it's more of a sliding, like like they kind of mm -hmm. go in and then they kind of move into the dock like that, but uh, instead yeah. of an actual like landing like an actual plane. In a sense, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Nick would probably start bailing as soon as the ship was sl slid in enough to where. Uh, they could just like jump onto the loading dock. Yeah. And right. then just start to run to the lower districts. Gotcha. So, like, uh, this area here, like the little poor area. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Vesta, you follow uh, a little bit afterwards. And they all kind of. <laughs> they're, all, they're all trying to be like, okay, no, okay, no one else, please. Uh, uh, you guys might want to. Okay. And then they're just like, okay, you know what? Screw it. Um, okay, well, welcome. Yeah, uh, Evangeline, kind of using her special Dragoon jumps, she leaps uh, up off of the, the airship and then spots where you are, and she kind of, like, kinda, she slams her spear uh, kind of um, next to you, and then she starts running along with you. Because Dragoon jump. Because <laughs> Dragoons can jump. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, Biggs and Wedge, they land, they get everything in position, and uh, they tell the rest of the party. We'll just, I'll just control the, the role play of the party members right now. He, they just tell the party members to uh, watch over them, make sure they don't get killed while we handle the dock, and make sure to rescue and evacuate anybody else you can see. And they agree. So, they leave uh, to try to find where you all are. Well, I mean, I guess they would split up across the city. Uh, we'll just have Franklin go into the area that he was in in the beginning when he first came here. We'll, so, like, in the upper uh, area. Uh, Northern. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's his Rubik would kind of be here, I guess. Uh, Vesto, do you want to go into the lower er uh, area where Nyx is, or do you want to go into the market area? No, yeah, I'm following Nyx. Okay, cool. So, uh, lower area. Gotcha. Here, let me... There we go. Uh, Alright, there, boom, this is perfect, actually. Um, Alright, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, getting a, another... Oh, no, you're good. Thing. Yeah, so now you guys are actually in the city. Uh, oh, shit, I think I fell over. I don't know how this thing has rails, but it fell. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, you guys are in the city now, and you two uh, make me investigation checks. Well, more like, uh, what are you trying to go after, Nyx? Uh, I'm trying to get as many of the civilians from the lower district out and safe as possible. All right. Uh, make me investigation checks. Both of you. Uh, sure are, are you, um, Vesta, are you looking for it, uh, as well? Uh, you trying to look around the same areas that he is, or are you kind of breaking off a little bit in the poorer areas? Yeah, that's, she'll separate a little bit, but trying to stay in the same general area as Nyx. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and make me an investigation check. Um, that's gonna be 23 for me. Jesus. And she will make it. Let's find the investigation, okay? Alright. <laughs> um, you see, um, you see a, uh, a, like, a bunch of people in the fire. Um, a lot of them, well, like, of course you see a bunch of people, the fucking whole place is on fire. Uh, no. But what you see is, uh, that, actually, you know, Nyx, since you rolled higher. Uh, Nyx, while you're running around looking for everybody, uh, as you look to your left and your right, you see, uh, kind of, like, uh, you see the place, oh, man, how do I, I'm trying not to sound so, you know, like, crazy about, like, I'm trying to think of a good description. You see a bunch of families in the fire. Uh, you see, uh, men, kind of, on the, on the floor, trying to, uh, you know trying to crawl but uh 
before you could turn your gaze, you know, towards them, the building kind of collapses on top of them. You see mothers holding their children, uh, but, you know, they don't seem real because they're turned to ash. You see just everybody, nearly everybody in this area has been just incinerated to death. Uh, and you see a particular person who is holding a coin uh, to his side uh, when he passes, well, as he passed. Um, but luckily, you do see a few uh, a few families. You see a couple of uh, you know poor uh, children who have these green tattered dusty crusty robes on um uh and you see a couple of adults who seem to be uh the parents and they are also wearing tattered clothes as well and they are trying to get out of the fire and because a, a a building has collapsed and they're kind of trapped um Nix is going to make his uh, make their way over to the women and kids to see if they can try and help get them out. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, you see. Uh, God damn! Why do I say that? Uh, okay. Pretty much, you walk up and they uh, notice you come up to them, and they are the uh, one of the parents looks at you and says, "Oh, thank God you're here. Um, uh, one of my children, a couple of my children are are, are stuck." Uh, the uh, my husband's in there trying to get them out, but he doesn't seem uh, strong enough. Uh, you think you could help us out? Don't worry, I'll. Don't worry, I'll make sure they get out. Meanwhile, you two and and anyone else that's still alive, try and get out here as fast as you can. All right? Okay. Uh, uh, are Are you sure you do you need any help escaping? Trust me, me escaping is the last thing I need to worry about. And most importantly, it's the last thing you need to worry about. Just get yourself to safety, and I'll make sure that your ch kids get out. Okay, okay. Uh, please, please protect my children. I will. Now go! And she kind of runs off. Um, uh, and the the people who are left inside, the two children and the husband, are kind of... They're, like, you see the husband trying to, like, like push against it with his shoulder and the kids also trying to help but you know that it's futile uh they can't they don't do anything uh but that's all you really see and yeah um they then don't notice you, but they're kinda in the middle of pushing yeah and then vesta and evangeline are not that far from me yeah not that far i'd say they're about like maybe a block away like like uh, in the city block like a city block away from you because they they are they are in the same area that you are, but they didn't stray too far from you. All right. Um, before I go into chart, uh, go in for the charge. I just kind of turn out to in the street and I just sort of yell, "Vesta, Vangeline, over here!" And then immediately start trying to. And then after I start yelling for them, I head over and uh. I don't have any of those. Um, oh, coins. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... So they're just trying to block the fire out, yeah? No, they're trying to escape because something is holding them back from escaping out of their house. The house had collapsed, but they are safe inside, but they're trying to get out before the whole thing collapses even more on top of yeah. them. So something is blocking them. Um, okay, so they've got parts of the house that are kind of collapsing on them. Uh... Is can from looking at how everything collapsed? Is there any way that I could shoot a part of the collapsed part of the house in front of me to where it will open up to help get them out? Um. Okay. Uh. Make me a an advan an advantage uh perception check. What did I say? Okay. That's not gonna help. Uh. Come on, baby. That's gonna help a little bit better. Uh. You said perception. Perception. Shit. All right. Uh, that's gonna be a thirteen. All right. Okay. Cool. That that just made it. Um. Okay. So Ooh. because you're good at spotting the um 
the areas like since you're good at shooting and aiming and precision you you find it it took you a little bit of time but uh you find the area and uh, to, to you know fire at and yes there is an area for like a special spot for you to fire without the whole thing collapsing but also you know clearing out the debris that's in front of them all right uh i'm gonna take my shot then all right so yeah i pull out rebellion, i pull out rebellion aim and then just fire away all right. Which only there's a bullet, only one bullet left in the chamber, but whatever. Yeah. Taking the shot. Uh, that's going to be seventeen. Uh, you don't have to roll a uh, damage roll. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, still. All right. Um, wait. You said how much is that a shot? How much damage did that do again? Uh, no, it wasn't damage. It was seventeen to hit. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. No. You since you already spotted it, uh, you know where to shoot, and like, I mean, you you didn't have to make an attack. Um, but no. Yeah. Um, so, rebellion, take it out, aim, fire. Yeah. So you, yeah, you spot it and then, <laughs> and almost as if like this is a, uh, uh, the matrix, you kind of, let's just say the camera pans around the bullet as it, you know, makes contact and then boom, you hit the area, uh, where it was blo blocking it off. And after that falls, the after that falls, the uh, the the boards that were kind of covering it up, well, they all fall down off of the uh, the front of it, but the structure itself is still intact, but it looks like it's about to collapse in the next, I'd say, few seconds or so, because all right, uh, so. It, the, the, it didn't necessarily crumble the house; it just weakened the integrity of the entire thing. All right, so after I take the shot, I get I get to the kids and the guy, and I'm like. Right, wheel here? Good. Now let's get the hell out. Who are you? Someone who's trying to make sure that you stay alive. Now come on! Uh, okay, uh, and then uh, the kids, uh, he kind of like emo like looks at the kid and he's like, uh, go, 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 go. Um, and then he uh, runs out as well. Um, and those guys are out of the building. And as soon as they leave, the building starts to crumble down and kind of let out a big flame like it's a big old flame yeah. and uh yeah um but before we could actually once, they're out, oh, once uh, they're out i'm just gonna get the hell out of dodge as well all right uh but yeah uh so cutting over to miss vista um we, you, uh, this is after, like, seconds after you broke off from Nyx, uh, you go ahead, oh, wait, no, no, you already made an investigation, okay, yeah, yeah, so, since you are so yeah. good at investigating, <laughs> investigating, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> since you get investigating, uh, you also see a similar sight, you see bodies, uh, just, has just been shriveled up by intense heat you see corpses everywhere you see children gone parents gone grandparents gone a lot of people have sadly been incinerated to death uh you see a couple of people that had looked like that they uh are you know still alive but as you look closer you kind of notice that they're just They've been kind of preserved in this ash kind of thing. You know how, like, after a natural... Like, you know, have you ever guys ever seen Pompeii? Yeah. Well, pretty much, yeah. At the end of that movie, after, you know, the the mountain erupted, uh, you see just a bunch of bodies just kind of statuified, I guess you would say, in, in ash. So that's what you kind of see. You see everybody, you see a couple of people that are in ash and they look like they're still alive, but you know, you kind of take a closer look and they're not. <laughs> but, um, right. You don't see anyone in particular until, uh, uh, you see like a dog kind of like, you know, looking at a burned building, wagging his tail kind of, and you see their, their ears kind of flop down. And there's no alive humans around? No alive humans. At least as far as you know. But all, yeah, all you see is just this little dog looking at this little burned building. And they just sound, they sound like... 
How how large is the dog? It's pretty big. Um, it's how tall is your character? Um, just a rough estimate. I would have probably like uh five five. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just say it's about uh uh. Two five feet tall? No, 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 five inches tall. Sorry, I, I don't. Okay, no, not five inches. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> we'll just say two feet long, two feet tall. I guess. I, I don't know how dogs are actually okay. like. I never actually taken a ruler to a dog's measurement, so we'll just say it's a normal sized <laughs> dog. All right, that's it. <laughs> all right, medium to large size. Yeah, medium. It's a good sized dog. It's not too hefty, but then again, it's not a fucking chihuahua either. So. I'm not good at dog machines. Alright. Well. I I can already tell this is going to be a bad idea. But since nobody else is around, I'll try to approach the dog and see if it's friendly. Okay. What was that face for? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, but no. Uh, so, you're walking up <laughs> to this animal? Yes. I don't like the smile that you have right now. Uh, okay, so you might need to actually, oh wait, are you trying to like reach out and touch it, or are you trying to get its attention, like, ah, or something like that? Um, no, I'll try to slowly approach it, um, and see if it looks aggressive before I go out to touch it. Okay, so as you walk, you kind of walk up, uh, and looking at it, it's more like, it's facing back in front of you, instead of looking at you, so it doesn't even notice you, so... Go ahead and actually make me a. Uh, are you trying to make? Are you trying to be stealthy, about it? No, I mean I want it to see me. Okay, so then you just, I guess, you just walk up. It it notices your footsteps and it turns around and it kind of just uh, looks at you with these big brown eyes and you're just like. Oh, um, okay. I'm actually hold on let me check if I have any no I do not I'm gonna have to try to see if I can get the dog to follow me All right. um, roll animal handling all right this is the first time I've ever seen an animal handling roll ever that's, that's a not... five. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So immediately bites your hand off. I'm just kidding. No, uh, you try to get it to follow you, but uh, it's it's still kind of sad. It's they're still saddened by, uh, you know, the house, and they kind of look at you, and they they just kind of just try to go up to the burning building, and then they kind of lie there beside it. And I haven't heard anything from um, Nyx at this point, right? This is while they're no. dealing with the house themselves? Yeah, this is while they're doing okay. their thing. Um, but yeah. Uh, the dog I'm going to try to move... Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to try and move up one or two houses and um, make sure there's nobody else left before I finick with the dog more. Alright. <laughs> so... You like you okay? So you got. I guess you kind of <laughs> you look at other houses and stuff, and uh, in the mind, in your mind, you're gonna go back to to fake with the dog, as you said. Uh, but you kind of see that the house kind of collapses, and from behind you, and you don't see the dog anymore. Oh no! Oh my God! You motherfucker! Hey, that's not me. That was the house who did it. I didn't do anything. Why would you do that? Rule number two of D&D, &D, man. The DM is fucking evil. Oh, God. I was gonna go back for the fucking dog. Alright. Well, I didn't say he died. I, I said that you don't see him anymore. You can try to look before him again you later on or something, him. but... Yeah, in the middle of a fucking fire novella. I think it's gone. Yeah. 
we don't know if you don't try. But uh, so uh, at that point, I guess after the 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 building kind of collapsed behind you, uh, you hear in the distance. Uh, you see here in the distance, Vesta, evacuate over here. From last, uh, and I guess you. Yeah, it's very. It's it's not too faint, but I mean, it, but like then again, you're, he uh, someone is shouting over um over a bunch of flames bunch and of buildings, buildings and stuff. So he's gonna have to shout very loud. So, yeah. I mean, as soon as I hear Nyx, um, I'll start running to where they are. All right. Um, you uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, at the point you where you are. You um, you you're kind of like I guess two blocks down now at that point because you know you did kind of move up a couple of houses, but um, you turn back and you head there and you see Nix and t- two kids and uh an adult male running from him. Well, not from him, but like from where his position is currently. And I will run up. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, I'm going to run up to Nyx and uh, ask them, is there anybody else? Um, okay, out of character before I answer, you said that there was, all, so aside from the women, children, and that one adult, there was still the guy holding onto the coin, right? Yeah, but he was uh, incinerated. Ah, fuck. Uh, Nyx kind of looks to Vest and is like, there were, there were a few others, but I asked them to go ahead. This might be the last thing. I'll go and double check, and you make sure that everyone else gets out of here. Will do. And I'll run up to meet the group of people. And then I immediately head back to see if I can find any more people. Alright, so, uh, what's the plan again? Uh, just to kind of... Vesta is going to stay with the adult and the two kids to make sure they get out, and then I'm heading back into heading back to see if I can find any more people to help get out. All right. Yep. So, um, I will keep the same rules. All right. So next, uh, you uh, scour the streets of the slums. Uh, you see a bunch of tents. You know, the tents where they were living at, uh, they all had fallen down. Uh, Do you see a couple of animals? Uh, One of them is a dog, and a couple of them are cats. But they're like, you know, they're kind of like running in the opposite direction of you. So it looks like they're going towards the front exit of the city. But, um... Overall, you don't see humans. And what is your passive perception? Uh, ten. Okay, cool. So, you see, uh, you come up uh, 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 on a part of the city you have been to before. And you see a guy with a carpet and a bunch of items... He's lying there on the floor, no longer moving. And there with a bunch of coins scattered on his carpet as well. A bunch of gill. And from your recognition, this is the same guy who you gave money to, to, you know, support him. Um, next is going to... For- when Nick sees this, uh, they're going to stop for a sec and kind of walk, take a look at the person, and just kind of sigh in a mix of like sad, and then it's just like, I'm sorry, mate, but may your life be peaceful in the next, and. I really hope you forgive me for this. Uh, Nyx is going to grab the gill and start, and then head out. Oh my god. (laughs) How did I have a feeling? 
Oh, I had a feeling I was like, watch this dude's gonna steal the gill. Um, so overall, he from the gill that you gave him and the gill that he has made over the amount of you know time that he's over the day that you've last seen him, he has uh, made about mm -hmm. all together about seven gill. So go ahead and if you're gonna take that, mark that off of your character sheet. Yeah. No, okay. so that'd put me at uh, shit. That put me at four eighty gil. Four eighty and fifty silver. Hang on. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, okay, cool. All right. So yeah, um, but overall, you don't see anybody in this area, um, kind of like like, like the, who's like trying to get out because a lot of this area when you've been here, you saw that it was made of you know weaker buildings than the ones in the higher class. So a lot of their tents, mm -hmm. a lot of their f fabricated fortifications had been had fallen already. Um, yeah. So yeah, you don't see anybody in particular. Yeah, after that, Nix is just gonna head back, uh, head out, and try and catch up with Vesta and the others. All right. And before we cut away, I will be right back. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Feel free to. Off to kill another dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he kills a dog, I steal Gil from a dead person, and yet I'm the villain. <laughs> no. I feel like that was maybe a moral test to have left the Gil there, that you have failed. Uh, no. I mean, it probably was a moral test, but... I am not going to defend myself at this moment. Fair enough. I will probably have to defend myself eventually, uh, because everyone's gonna probably see this. Because I just jumped out of the ship before we docked. There's gonna be a few people with questions. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck were you doing? And also, I swear, if I get questions about asking why I didn't go for anyone in the higher districts, there's gonna be bruises. Jesus, Vessel would warn you. I mean, it makes sense Franklin would go to the... Yeah. The north. No, Franklin's going... No, Franklin and Rivik probably are helping out in the other districts. Me, I just beeline for the. I just beeline for the poor. Asshole. He's back. And he's tiptoeing and giggling for some reason. Oh, that's never good. Yeah. I wasn't giggling. I was just smiling very big. Oh. That's even worse. I, no, I also got <laughs> milk and cookies because I didn't make these. I got these from a Chips at Hoy thing. Uh, what's going mm. on here? Oh, yeah, you want one here? Go ahead. Take them. Take them. Take them. No. Oh, now nah, you, ate, you ate too much. Now you need to take these back. That was weird. Why did I, I do that? Anyway. <laughs> Moving on, we're back. Yeah. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, I, I gotta find my shit. The Crystal Exarch. I didn't mention this earlier in the campaign. Oh yeah. By the way, before we come back to the campaign, the message intermission right now. Uh, uh, much how much like Carlo had his name be the Whisper during the Whisper of Winter. I, you shall know me as the Crystal Exarch because I controlled the crystals. 
That's it. That's Am I the saying. only one that didn't have that extravagant of a name when I was D uh, in the chat when I was DM? Wait, what? I said, am I the only one that didn't have an extravagant name uh, in the chat when I was, or just in general when I was DM? I think so. Unless you did have, unless your name was Fractured Nexus. <laughs> unless you <laughs> were the Fractured Nexus, yeah. That is something else entirely. Uh, all right. Now eat your damn cookies. <laughs> All right. So, you were, okay? Where were okay? So we discovered that you didn't find anybody, any more humans. And um, I headed out to meet with Vesta and the survivors. All right, Vesta. We'll come back over to you. Um, you went back into a completely different. You went into a different part of the city. Like, uh, where did you go to? Like the market area after? Okay, after ushering those guys out. Did you decide you wanted to check another area, or did you want to kind of stay with them? Um, I think it's everybody else is out of the um, airship, right? Like it would just be me and the survivors. Yeah, everybody else is like out of the airship and out of the like, well, like out of the city. You see a couple of people, uh, a couple more people outside the uh, the airship hangar because I'm uh, I'm guessing that uh, Biggs and Wedge had picked up a couple of people after, you know, put it, docking the airship. So there are those guys, and then there are a couple of more people, may like maybe some elves and some other people, but only a few, maybe about seven in total they picked up. Okay, because I think I probably um, escort them inside of the airship then, and then stay with them, and make sure nobody's actively dying, and if so, if they need immediate med medical attention, try to attend to that, so I'd probably stay in the airship. Alright. Alright, so, uh, Nyx, you, okay, uh, yeah, you look around, I guess, as you're running, and I'm gonna ask you, uh, do you wanna search the up areas of the city or do you want to leave these uh the city to you know um nix is probably gonna check the mark would probably check the marketplace next um the nobles aren't really the first at the top of their minds right now so yeah they would probably head off to marketplace next all right so yeah all right so now these guys are easier to check out. You see uh, buildings on flyer. Um, you see uh, a lot of them are just still structurally sound a little bit because these are more made of like sandstone kind of material. So mm -hmm. uh, you see like uh, uh, when you go in there, you still see a lot of people coming out. Like they're trying to rush out. Um, like they're like flooding but not flooding like there's a lot of people there but it's more like like they're trying to like flood their way to the uh area uh so they're about like 20 or so 20 or 30 of them um trying to make their way to the outside and yeah uh you don't see anybody in particular who's like in distress but you are i guess uh you know there are people who are still alive uh, quite a lot of them well, people that are still alive, and are there? And then there are people that are. Uh, then there are people from the kingdom that are trying to like help get them all out and whatnot. Yeah, or is but, this just kind of people uh, on their own? There are a couple of guards, but a lot of them are trying to guard Thornton. So. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, there are like like maybe two, three guards out there trying to usher them out. All right. Um. See, yeah, seeing that everything is kind of. Decent at this point, I'd say Nix. Uh, let's see, that was done. The market was done. Um, yeah, yeah Nix is just gonna head back to the airship at this point. All right. Here, actually, um, let me quickly do something. Um. Uh, you okay? You said Nix is going into the airship. Yeah, it's going back to the airship. Okay, so 
you see everybody there. We everybody's on their ship. At least every people, all the people who are in uh who Biggs and Wedge had to ushered out and uh, Vesta. But the other people, they're trying to head out of the city instead of into the docking area. Um, but yeah, everyone's here. Everyone's safe. You see, I guess Vesta trying to see if anybody is trying to get, trying to you know need any medical attention. But overall, everybody seems fine and safe. Um, yeah, Nyx is just going to casually, or not really casually, but just kind of walk back onto, uh, back uh, towards the airship. Um, at this point, I'd say that their clothes are not only cut and torn from battle, but they're also getting a little singed and smoky. Uh, they're definitely panting very heavily from all that running, and you can see that some of the bandage, uh, bandages uh, across their arms, leg, and you can see a little bit across their hair, uh, uh, shoulders and whatnot are a little bit unraveled as well from kind of like overstretching it whatnot um looks at the amount of people that did make it out and are trying to like are alive and whatnot and then just kind of starts to slowly walk back on deck and back to their cabin um uh, okay, so I guess uh, Biggs and Wedge noticed you guys uh, walk on to the ship, and you come in later, uh, Nix. Um, but Biggs and Wedge kind of go up to you and says, I think we've got it from here. Uh, we may need you all to find out who caused this. I mean, you are all the special Damn. people, so Damn. we need to say those words. Huh? Don't say those words right now. Look, I know this may not be the right time, but you all, you, uh, whether you guys like it or not, you are all the heroes of light. I know it's a little hard for you, maybe, but God damn it, we need to think and we need to find out who started this. So, before we all can relax, I and Wedge will tend to these people's, you know, wounds and anything else they need. But you all, you lot, you need to all figure out who caused this so we can end up preventing this from later, uh, for later. Now they in my cabin. And Nyx just kind of turns and walks out uh, to their cabin. Uh, Biggs kind of looks at you, best thing, and he's like, "The hell is up with that guy?" We need to find out the, the we... root cause of this area uh, of what caused this before he goes and pollutes this uh, entire world with fire. In Nix's defense, we've been through a lot today. Um, but I, I can talk to them in a second. Do you have any leads at all on who could have caused this? We don't. Oh, one second. Uh, I am in here. Off to get more milk and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs>
And we're back once again. <laughs> Hi. I see you there. Oh, you're fine. You're okay. Next. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I was asking if that happened. Uh, I don't think so. We were with you guys at around the same time when this happened, so. Oh, I forgot about that. Do you have any idea who could have some leads? Like, guards here, or? Uh, possibly, uh, the Archduke. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, because they're holding them... Uh, safely, you know, in a in a temporary protection area to, until fires die down. But I mean, I guess you could. And then immediately as he gets cut off, uh, the airship somehow uh, gets sliced in half. You see, uh, Biggs kind of from like behind him. You see that Biggs is like front of side of the airship has completely like fallen off, uh, they, and they all the two halves kind of just slowly split apart. And you, and you, uh, a couple of the people, and uh, what's his name, Nix, are also like they're all starting to like lean over, and you know, like two halves of a sphere, they kind of start to. Like, you know, if you chop an apple, an apple in half, the two halves are going to kind of go topside like that. Yeah. So, yeah, the whole, the entire airship just got split into two. And the two halves just kind of fall over on their sides or on the front. Um... Is it just falling and then setting, or is it, like, sinking into shit? Uh, it's, like, okay, so since the area is mostly covered by a lot of desert, uh, the, the, uh, the hull is just kind of just landed in sand, in sand, just like a poof. Like, it all just fa fell over, and it's not really sinking, I guess, but, uh, it, this is, like, you know, it, it just kind of just falls over. And you all feel this, and... <laughs> Vesta, actually, you since Vesta, since you are actually kind of in the middle of the of the deck and not really in a in a in a chamber in a cabin, I need you to make me a deck save. Oh. Shit, oh, I shit. Just stormed off. Okay. Let's see, <laughs> deck save. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Twelve. I have got the twelve. And oh, you take. Shit. shit. And you take. 17 points of damage. I'm just kidding, no. Uh, you only take 7 damage. From, okay, uh, from I was gonna say, I'm down. Yeah, no. You, uh, you get hit, uh, you, like, you, I guess, as you see the, as you feel the airships kind of start to fl split apart, you kind of feel your balance starts to fall over, and then once the actual thing hits, uh, you fall, you, you hit your back against the, uh, the, uh, the front of the ship that is kind of tipped up. And Nyx, uh, you rolled me a dex, but at advantage. Dex save, it, but at advantage, because you are still in a room, but, you know, you have less, you know, area. That's a nat fucking 20. Alright then. Damn. Um. Which would have brought it up to 24, but, I mean, come on, nat 20. All right, and I guess uh, with you know, uh, you you are kind of alert, I guess. So uh, you just, I guess, as the ship is falling and stuff, you kind of reposition yourself, kind of brace, and then you kind of yeah, I, yeah, I brace for impact. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, you're in a room, and you don't take you don't take any damage at all because you were prepared 
for it, and you didn't hit your back against anything cool. Um, but yeah, so the airship is split in two. Uh, Biggs and Wedge uh, look... Well, I mean, you guys can't really see them because they're on the other sh other side. But everybody on the ship looks fine. Um, on your side of the ship looks fine, that is. Uh, but overall, yeah. Uh, you guys are still on the ship. Uh, the half of it anyway. And just, what the hell happened, pretty much. Uh, do you guys want to, like, uh, <laughs> Nyx, you, would you like to, you know, kind of look around? Because, I mean, you're kind of in the cabin, and the, the, your, your cabin door is kind of onto the side now. Yeah. No, uh, Nyx, after kind of, like, feeling, uh, feeling the shake and bracing and then having it all settled, just kind of... Make and it kind of looks around and walks back out and just is like invincible. My ass. <laughs> just kind of takes a look around to say it, see if everyone's all right. All right. Yeah, you see, uh, Vesta's all right. She's a little bit banged up, but that's normal. Uh, <laughs> uh you see a couple of uh, like pretty much uh, a couple of the people that were on this side, you know, like, you see everybody who's on your side, everybody looks okay, for the most part. But you don't know how everybody is on the other side of the ship. But, um... No. Yeah. Uh... No, Nyx, the, the Nyx just, after looking around and seeing everything, it's just like, can this day just not get any fucking worse? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but out of nowhere, you hear a very, very deep voice. How worse do you want to test it? Is it like coming from behind me, above me, or what? It sounds like it's coming from outside of the ship. So that kind of sounds muffled to you, Sin but like it, you hear the deep voice. Since I was on the deck, um, am I able to see? Was this coming from? Not really, because you know, same with the apple. Uh, kind of, if you were like to hollow out a, a, an apple, if somebody was in the apple when it tipped over, you can't see over the walls. Mm -hmm. So since you were on the deck. Oh, uh, fair. Oh, uh, so, well, I mean, since, you know, you were kind of helping everybody else out, uh, you know, in the middle of the ship, you're still kind of surrounded by walls and floors and stuff. So, you yeah, see it's, it's gonna, Nyx is going to try and kind of follow a voice to be like, in, uh, in their mind, they're just like, okay, who the fuck is this? Uh, just kind of makes their way to try and get a better vantage, uh, better uh, sight at who the fuck that was. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? No, never mind. Since you... Uh, nah, fuck. God damn it. Stupid 20 shit. Uh, pretty much. Uh, you don't see anybody at first. Um, but... Um, it'll take you a little bit to realize that he's actually on the inside now he has moved from the outside and he says the exact same thing that he said you know when he was outside are you sure it can't get any worse and it, that one sounds like it's very very close to you i keep trying to follow the voice and i just go look i've had a really bad day right now and all i want to do is go to my cabin and punch something because right now I'm very very pissed and you are trying my goddamn patience now who the fuck are you <laughs> are you sure you want to know okay no he's not gonna install it any longer hang on let me uh let me quickly do a quick thing all right 
is it? Okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the thing and put it in. Let's see if this works out. Does it work out? Let's see. That's never a good sign. Oh no, I'm I'm just uh, getting a picture up so I can so you guys can see him. Well, I'll see him eventually, but because like I'm still oh, fucking yeah, phone. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Sorry. Well, I mean, oh, it's fine. It's fine. You guys... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going over the episode and taking notes anyway, so I'll see the picture eventually. So, well, just do your thing. All right. Well, uh, um, Vesta, can you see this? Vesta? Vesta! Uh, went AFK for a little bit. Hang on. Uh, well, uh, okay. So, I'll just describe him for you. Um, or that hang on. Have. I can actually just, just post a picture in the Discord. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Uh, oh. Oh, you back? Oh, could you not hear me before? No. Oh shit! Sorry, I said it like no. I can't see him. You can see him. Yeah, I could. I think you took him off though. Oh yeah, here. Let me uh, let me get him back. All right. So here, I'll put him in the Discord since you're already on the Discord. Uh, Nix. Yeah. Uh, you see this guy, and you see this guy. Um. This guy, his, he's cl uh, he's cladded out in just he very heavy metal armor. He has a, a terrifying helmet on with big, massive horns, a giant goddamn great sword with tassels on it, and he wears a royal purple cape. This guy, who you see before you, and going back into character for me, he's gonna be like, <laughs> I am Garland. And I believe you all are the warriors of light. Am I right? Am I right? Nix says louder. You could just Nix holsters. Through. Yeah, Nix holsters rebellion takes Bright Eye off their shoulder, cocks it, and is like, "I swear to the four gods, if someone calls me that one more goddamn time today." Oh, do you not like it? <laughs> Garland's voice does not crack, I swear. Uh, <laughs> what? Do you not like it? Hmm, it's a prestigious title, you know. Not everyone can be, be called a warrior of light. Anyways, I am not here to discuss the... the, the things with you, uh, the uh, importance of names to you. I am here for your heads. I... Um, have been instructed to take you all down, but it looks like you all, you lot are kind of, it looks like you lot are kind of, you know, doing that to yourselves. So, if you want this, he, uh, he holds out his hand, and from, you see nothing, from nothing, you see a bright, shining, uh, red crystal in front of him. This crystal is way different than your crystals, and it's way different than the Warriors of Darkness's crystals. What you see, what you all see, is the fire crystal you all have been searching for. If you want this, then you'll have to pry it from my hands. But, not now. Is that a challenge, Dominic? Hmm. I don't think you want to challenge me right now. Not in your condition. You see, I am a hardened, seasoned fighter. And we in the fighter, I guess, how would you say, community. We don't like to face our opponents when they're at their worst. It'd be too easy that way. But no, 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 no. I want to make sure I ring, uh, ring out every single last drop of power out of you all. So if you want to have this back because I know that this is what you all need come to this uh, come to the chaos shrine my castle that I built and maybe if you defeat me 
I'll get it back. I'll, I'll give you what you want. <laughs> I'm taking a shot at his knee. All right. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, make a an attack roll. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-one. All right. Uh, roll damage at disadvantage. Uh, no, I mean roll damage at disadvantage. And I'll tell you what. The fucking. Okay. Okay, it's probably going to be that. Yeah, so that's going to be three points of piercing damage. Alright. So, you. Um. Alright, so you. And I'm. You, um, huh? I'm specifically going to try and aim for his shoulder All on right. this one. Cool. Yeah. All right, so you aim it directly at him. You uh, it's just you're doing it lightning fast, so he doesn't have time to react, right? I mean, I've already had bright eye out. I'm just merely point pulling the trigger oh. at this point. All right, cool. So you he, uh, you shoot it out at him, and you see as the bullet kind of makes contact with seems to be him. Uh. He has a secret invisible magical barrier across him. Uh, oh, that cheeky fuck. And then he's like, <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to. <clears throat> and then uh, the bullet kind of, like, I guess, goes through uh, just slightly, though. And then, the, like, the barrier kind of repairs itself, but, like, he still kind of got hit. You just hear a ba-ding off of his armor. And he looks down, he sees the dent that you made. <laughs> I just look back to him and I'm like, you monologue too much. Mm. Well, let's just hope you'll show that ferocity at the Chaos Shrine. Farewell, Warriors of Light. I will see you within 24 hours. If you come late, then I'll burn another town down. Oh, and don't Fuck off, garlic. Funny. But don't think I'm going to leave you without a little parting gift. He snaps his fingers. And you all see uh, a couple of, like, two or three cultists arrive at you. Bye-bye, warriors oh. of light. And I'm going to need you I Wait, hang on. I'm going to need you all to roll some initiative. And before we start rolling initiative... You can uh, you all use a free action to use a potion or two. I'll give you that. Because I know oh, some yeah. of you guys are still hurt. And actually, I we can say that Rubik and Ve and Franklin are kind of on the opposite side of uh, the ship. So they kind of are away. Yeah. But it's just you two in this fight. So... Um, that is going to be... I'm guessing eight. from the name Max Potion, it just immediately puts me at max health, right? Wait, you get a max... Wait, when did you get a max potion? Uh-oh. Everybody's frozen on my end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to exit and rejoin if you guys can hear me. So. Oh, hello. We can hear you. Hi. All right, hello. there we go. Hi, we can hear you. Max Potion. When did you max guys get a max potion? Heals user to max health. What the I hell? Have idea, but I have two of them and two potions of healing. That's odd. Hang on one second. Uh, wait. That's odd. All right, you know, here for this, uh, I don't, I don't know how those got. I don't think I gave those to you, but you know, we'll we'll roll with it and we'll say that uh, if you want to use those on Nyx and yourself, you can heal yourselves up to max health for this. Okay. It doesn't heal your injuries. But you guys are less close to dying. All right. All right. And let me I mean, I'm actually pretty good right now myself because I'm at eighteen plus two temp. So. All right. Uh, let me quickly actually, uh, since I didn't have, I did, I wasn't prepared for this to happen. I didn't expect this to happen, which I like. Oh, by the way, this is cool. Uh. I don't have a, I don't have a map for this. I mean, we could save this for next session because it's already. Well, this is gonna since these are from, cultists, they don't have a lot of health, and I'm 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 gonna save the big boss for the next episode. 
That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So I'm not. Like, I know this is not. A, this is like just treat this as like one of your random encounters uh, that you guys normally get in each episode. Nice. Okay. I still have an 18 at initiative. <laughs> oh, fucking course you do. <laughs> oh. Uh, roll. Oh, yeah. I mean, I rolled an 11, and then I get plus 7 to initiative now, so, ha Fuck out. 7? Originally, it's plus 2, but I took the alert feat, so I get an extra plus 5 to initiative. So, yeah, I get plus 7 to initiative now. Jesus. Alright, so, can y'all see this? This is what, what's it, this is what happens when, this is what happens when you let me be a, uh, play... Uh, playing character, <laughs> I make sure that I go all freaking out on characters. All right. Uh, so I guess this is uh okay. So the cultists uh I guess are on the out directly on the outside of the city. Like like they're at the city gates where the uh bay is. So you know to fight them, you would have to crawl. You would have to go into the city. Before they try to, you know, kill anybody else who's trying to run away. So, like they're, are, they're so they're, they're close to you. So they're over. So they're over 120 feet away, right? No. Since the since the bay fell, um, the cultists kind of appear uh, right outside the bay. So, you guys are about. Since the airship was not that far away, since the airship was docked at the bay, it was mostly at the uh, fifty feet mark, fifty foot mark away, fifty feet away. Oh, goody! Uh, of course, <laughs> of fucking course. Um, but yeah, as for that, um, for that, uh, for that max potion, did you want to use yours on the uh, on on Nyx as well? Let me. Oh know. yeah. So we'll just give him the neck and 27 hit points. <laughs> and again, 18 on initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I gotta actually add the... Um... Yeah, no, feats are fucking awesome. Like, seriously. Alright. You just get three of them. <laughs> Alright, um, that's what they sound like. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, they roll... Okay, yeah. So, you rolled a what again on your initiative? An 18? Yep. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Shit, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, oh wait, I need to get the battle music up. Battle, battle music. <laughs> You're good. Alright. Now, Nyx. The Reich, it is the top of the round. You are voiced. Alright, so... First off, bonus action, reload Bright Eye. Okay. Uh, then, I'm gonna take my gun, and... You said that they're about 50 feet away, right? Uh, well, I mean, uh, when you guys engaged, uh, well, at least, but this is before the battle, like, like, when you guys were in the ship and that, uh, I would guess that you can move up some, but let's just say that you all are, this is where they were, and when the battlefield kind of started, you guys were kind of, like, back there, so, about 35 now, Support. or you guys can move wherever you guys want. Yeah, I'm just gonna... To move to where I can at least you know, I aim it, and I'm just gonna try to get shot here. Huh? So you kind of went robotic. Uh, uh, I said I'm gonna take a sharpshooter shot at the first cultist I see. Alright, so. 
That would be number three. Oh. Make your shot. That's a misfire. A misfire? Yeah, I rolled a two. Mm. That obviously does not hit. <laughs> no, that does not hit, and now... And that was also... Two is also the misfire score on Bright Eye. So now the gun's jammed. Nah, shit. <laughs> well, while you get that on jam, jam. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh. My turn is the camera if you can jam that until. Uh. My wait, next turn, because that takes an action. So. Yeah, yeah one time you kind of went robotic again. Uh, repairing a misfire takes an action, I think, to repair, so that's gonna be it for me. And even if it was bonus action, I used it to reload Bright Eye, so I'm done. Yeah. Alright, Coltis. Gonna run up to you and be like, <laughs> Actually, no. I was gonna be He's gonna run up to you and be like, <laughs> He doesn't actually say that, he just says nothing. And he's gonna hit you with a scimitar attack with the 12 to hit. That's not gonna hit. All right, so he got it. He get. He gets. He's fucked. All right, then uh, he's going back up some. Like right there. Not that much. Far from you. Um. God, damn, you are. Uh, you guys are in a weird position. Uh, one of the cultists go down there, and another cultist kind of goes down. So that ends their turn. Vesta, more rice. Um, all right. I'm going to just move around this corner so that I can get a good look at the cultist, specifically number two. And I'm going to cast Thunder, which let me check. Whoa, 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 thunder. <laughs> Mr. Cultist number two must make a dexterity saving throw. Damn. Nothing else there. Dex save, you said? Yes. DC is 13. Nope, they fell. Uh-huh, uh, fuck uh, off. I rolled so badly. That's nine damage. That's fine, because, um, that was enough to take him out. Oh, there you go. Oh. And that is the end of my turn. Alright. And... Top back up the round. It is you, next break. I am going to repair my gun. Alright. And that is definitely gonna do it. Er. Fuck! No, that. Er. See, because DC 8 plus misfire score for Tinker. Oh, wait, no! That is actually gonna pass. Haha! Fuck off! So, I repair my gun. Bonus action. Uh, yeah, bonus action, uh, switch out Bright Eye with Rebellion, and then I'm gonna move. Uh, how far is the cultist that attacked me? Um, he's about five feet away from you. Um, he kind of moved up to give you a slashy slash. Uh, but the thing is, is that you're kind of cornered in this little, uh, area. Unless you can, like, you can move backwards, but, like, you know, there are a bunch of built, burn buildings around here. Alright, yeah, then I'm just going to, uh, swap out Bright Eye with Rebellion, and that's going to end my turn. Alright. Uh, Cultist? Cultist is going to... Why did I do that? No, no, it's wrong. It's wrong but, uh, he's gonna hit. He's gonna try to hit you with a scimitar attack. Come at me, bitch. Nineteen to hit. Oh fuck you! I swear. 
three damage. Okay, so the temporary points go out, and that drops me to 26. And Elder Cultist is gonna go up to you, Vesta, and she is either gonna swipe at you with 10. <laughs> Miss! And yep, yeah, it's up to you now, Vesta. I think I'm gonna actually try to bonk him with my quarter staff. That's always fun. 15 to hit. 15 to hit. Oh shit. Yes. That misses. I'm just kidding, no. I was gonna I'm say no! I'm just gonna just fucking bolt to this? Two, okay, two damage. Uh, um. Hey, any damage? That's all. Any damage is good damage. I That's appreciate fair. that. Alright. Um. Yeah. Is that. Is yeah, it is. End? Is that your end? Okay, cool. Uh, Nick, stop it around. Back to you. Uh. I'm gonna move about. Uh, I'm gonna move about, uh, 10 to 15 feet away from the cultists that tried to smash me. If I can. Alright, yeah. But that'll give him an opportunity attack. I don't fucking care at this point. Alright, so how far are you moving, you said? Uh, about, uh, 10 feet. Alright. Just enough to kind of get, get some distance. We'll just say he's back. He goes off the map. <laughs> um. But yeah, go ahead and take that opportunity attack if you can. Alright. Uh, 11 to hit. <laughs> nope. Turn right around, and, and uh, bonus action, reload, Rebellion. Uh, then let's try this Sharpshooter a shot one more time. Uh, that is a... No, that's not going to work. That's a 7. Yep. That misses. And that's going to be the end of my turn. Alright. Cool. Uh, Cultist, to your area. He's gonna move up to you now. And he's gonna make a shooter attack at you. For nine to hit. Nope. Alright, well, that's the end of this Cultist. Thing. Other Cultist is gonna go up to you. And that's the end. Hit you with a ten to hit. Misses. No, yeah. he's consistent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Vesta, you're up. <laughs> I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm just gonna use Thunder again. So, deck save from Cultist number four. That, that's gonna fail. Gosh. Ah, right. Wow, okay. Well, he's dead. 11 damage. Yeah. And that's all for me. He's fried. Like a chicken. Okay, your turn. Nixa Drake. Alright, I'm, sh I'm gonna try and fucking sh shoot at. The last cultist. Um, I still want to get this sharpshooter shit done, but I think at this point I'm just gonna go for a regular attack. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be 15 to hit. That misses. You get into that hit. All right, so he takes seven points of piercing damage. All right. And he's looking very rough, very very rough. Like like he's bleeding a lot. Um, <laughs> anything else? Um, free action, flip him the finger. Alright, so bonus action, flip him the finger. <laughs> Pretty much! Alright, cool. Uh, other cultist, beside you, he's gonna be like, Ah, you hit me! 
a seven to hit. Nope. God damn it. Well, Vesta. <gasps> you oh, you God, he sucks at hitting. Okay. okay. Um, I will head over here and uh, smack number three with my quarterstaff. Bonk him with the stick! That misses. <laughs> you should probably stick the thunder. <laughs> yeah, probably should have. You know, it's fine. That's, that's it for me. You right. got this. You got this, Nyx, right? Right? I think so. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot him again. Oh, please. Fuck. Wait, uh, okay. That's a nat one, and that's a misfire. God dang, <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's one person left, and he's at 4 HP. No, he's at 2 HP, I'm sorry. Yeah, just aim the gun. Uh, the, just like, aim the gun, pull the trigger. Part of the gun that was holding the ammo just kind of like, just like hear a grinding sound. I'm just looking at it like, Mother fucking two ball bitch! <laughs> you hear them really like laughing, you're like. <laughs> oh, go suck your mother's tits. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Damn. That's vicious mockery for you. Uh, no. Uh, <gasps> but the cultist is gonna be like. <laughs> For 22 to hit at you, Nyx, for giving them the finger. Oh. Fuck her. <laughs> Give him the finger and tell him to go suck his mom's tit. Yeah, okay, how much damage is that gonna oh. do me? Just 7 damage. You know, just keep you pooping damage. Alright, so that brings me to 19. So, that's the end of the cultist's turn. Now, Vesta. Vesta, buddy. Oh no. Look. Okay. Last spell slot. At least for first level. Okay. Uh, uh, make a deck save. <laughs> Dun da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You rolled a 16. Fucker. Fucker. I'm just kidding, no, he rolled a 6. <laughs> Hey, has that loaded? Oh, like, wait a minute there. N 19 damage. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh, wait, wow. was that, was that also a nat 20? We two hit points left. Oh, that was close to being a nat 20. You had one bite yet. Oh my god. You rolled a nat 20. Okay, yeah, he's. Okay, okay, well, how do you want to do this, first of all? <laughs> uh, I will raise my hand as. Thunder strikes down and basically obliterates this poor cultist. Yep. Sparks fly from your stick and it crashes. And boom, he has now died. He got died, everybody. And perfect timing, actually, because that song just ended. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Just like that. God. But yeah, uh, so yeah, you killed the last one! Yippee! Nyx is still swearing at his gun. Nothing's not gonna explode, is it? it Nick just kind of looks and is like... The looks, shrugs, goes back to swearing and trying to fix the damn thing. And actually, before the end of the episode, before we end this episode, I will actually try and freaking repair this. All right. Um. Yeah. yeah but, uh, oh yeah. Um. Also, remember, he did say you guys have uh, 24 hours, so you guys can spend as much time preparing as much as you want. But yeah, these guys. Uh, I guess yeah. you look on in horror uh, as the city burns down, but the cultists' bodies, all you know the drill. Uh, their bodies become like burnt meat. You see steam and smoke rising off of them, and like their bodies being decomposed really, really fast. And all you see left is a bunch of ribs and cloaks and empty clothes. So yeah. Um. But yeah. 
after that thrilling uh, battle, it's the end of the session, everybody. I'm sorry to say, but I mean, goddamn, we we can only tolerate so much action in one episode. So yeah, thanks, I'm chill. thanks all for uh, coming down to the stream and uh, chilling without with us. I, I, I don't know. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, but yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, this is the Crystal Exarch signing off. Bye. Bye, streamers and creepers. Ah, ah, ah.